Welcome to the rocket profile of the GSLV Mark III, the Indian Space Research Organization's newest orbital rocket. The initial stage of the rocket is the two strap-on S200 boosters. The core stage engines do not ignite on the ground. The two solid fuel boosters each develop a peak vacuum thrust of 5,150 kilonewtons and burn for 2 minutes and 10 seconds. The specific impulse for the boosters is 274.5 seconds in vacuum. As with all boosters used in this role, the nozzles of the S200 gimbal to control the rocket. Eventually, the thrust on the boosters begins to trail off, and once it hits a certain level, the core stage engines ignite. The core L110 stage consists of two Vickers engines, which can also be found on the second stage of the other Indian orbital rockets, the PSLV and the GSLV Mark II, and also on the GSLV Mark II's boosters. Each Vickers 4 provides 800 kilonewtons of thrust in vacuum with a specific impulse of 293 seconds burning UDMH, which is unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine, and nitrogen tetroxide. The stage burns for 3 minutes and 20 seconds. GSLV stands for Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle, so this rocket is optimized for delivery to a high geosynchronous transfer orbit, like the Ariane 5, rather than for lower orbits, which is the job of the PSLV. Its payload to a 600km low orbit is 8 tons, while it can put 4 tons on a geosynchronous transfer orbit. While the video will not demonstrate this properly, the upper stage engine on GSLV Mark III hot stages, igniting before the core stage has shut down, to eliminate the need for separation motors. The upper stage is known as the C25, and the engine on it is the CE20. It is a cryogenic engine burning hydrogen and oxygen at 200 kilonewtons vacuum thrust for 9 minutes and 46 seconds. The ISP of the engine in vacuum is 443 seconds. Because the thrust of this engine is substantially higher than its counterparts on the Ariane 5, Atlas 5, and Delta 4, while the rocket carries less payload, there is little need for the stage to pitch substantially away from prograde to make orbit. The GSLV Mark III has been launched once on a suborbital flight without its upper stage on December 18, 2014, but delays on the upper stage cryogenic engine have set back when it would go operational. The first full launch is planned for January 2017, when it will carry a 3.2-ton communication satellite on a geostationary transfer orbit. So we will all look forward to ISRO's success on that first full launch. On that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the GSLV Mark III.